Hello everyone, back for another doll video, and today I have an unboxing from eBay. So the doll that is in here is a doll that I have had two of in the past. So the first one, she, well, well you know what, I'll get into the unboxing, get that out of the way, and then I will do the story time so that... You're not just staring at a box while I ramble on because nobody wants to stare at this. But yeah, this doll came from eBay. It's a doll that I have not seen in a very long time. Like I said, I had two of her. Yes, I'm using teeny tiny sewing scissors because that was all I could find. They should turn a really big box for some reason. You know, the first doll like this that I got, I believe I was 15. And that doll was already pre-owned, and she had a haircut, and stuff like that. So, it doesn't look like there's anything else in there but the paper. But yeah, this doll, I have never had her original outfit or anything, but bam. There we have her. So yeah, this is Holiday Joy Barbie from 2003. But I saw her for a reasonable amount on eBay. Uh, surprisingly, all the ones that I... Because I was more than willing to just buy her naked without any of her stuff. Just the doll herself. But I couldn't find her anywhere, you know, just used or anything. And the ones that were out of box that actually had their, like... Stuff, like their clothes and everything... They were charging more for the dolls in box or out of box rather than in box. So this was literally the cheapest one I had found. So yeah, but this is so interesting. I've never had her original outfit. There's her shoes. She's got glitter all over her legs. But yeah, her body is the 1991 twist and turn body. So it's that much skinnier body mold. Generation girl face. And she does have connect on hair. She has the shiny arms. She does have bend and snap knees. Oh, she's got a little loop. So she has a bead right there with a gold loop that goes around it to keep it closed. That's interesting. So the bead actually matches the one on her necklace. So yeah, I guess I will open her up. Since there doesn't appear to be any tape, but yeah, this is the box. The box isn't that exciting. Like, there's no, like, fun pictures of the doll or anything, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the box afterward. 
Um, yeah, I remember all the Barbies that had this when I was a kid. So, yeah. They had that stamp. <clears throat> But yeah, has some quotes or whatever from little girls around that time, like holiday quotes. I miss this Barbie logo. Like my favorite one is the '90s one, the classic '90s um, Barbie logo. But I do miss this one. It's a lot like the classic, like, vintage one, but instead the font is slightly different and the lettering goes up like that. Um, let me see. I don't think I have anything to show. Well, here, let me, um, so yeah, that Barbie logo right there it's very similar to that which is the classic 50s 60s 70s logo that they used so yeah it's it's like that one but yeah you can see that palm beach box right there has the 2000s one on it so yeah they are not the same so yeah but yeah, that is the logo that I really like. Where it goes upward like that. It kind of slants up. So yeah. But anyway, that's that's the box. The sides of it, which have like glitter. Looks like some someone took glitter glue and... It looks like someone took glue and then sprinkled glitter on it and waited for it to dry. And this just looks like a bunch of grass patches. I don't know. The box kind of confuses me, but I don't know. This doll makes me think of like the movie Home Alone. Like the like especially the background, like the, how the inside of the house looked. Just the aesthetic. Oops. But yeah, it makes me think of that very stereotypical. Christmas movie from like the 90s and 2000s and she even has an ornament remember when holiday dolls used to have ornaments I mean and this is not the holiday Barbie of 2003 this was just a random one like this wasn't the one that had a this wasn't the um the main one that had a big ball gown or anything no, Mattel would also do a bunch of little random holiday Barbies on top of that. So they would they would have these basic ones and then they would have the main one. So, you know, but without further ado. But yeah, I've never opened this doll before. Like the other, the ones I had, the first one I got was from a girl on the bus that I rode the bus with. And what I did was I, her Barbies were, she had traded me. We traded Barbies. So she traded me two of my newer ones. Like my, my dolls were in better condition because I took care of them a little bit better. And then hers were like dirty and they had ponytail holders stuck in their hair and haircuts and stuff. But she had a Palm Beach Leah, or not Leah, a skipper. And I'd always wanted her. So she was happy to trade me that doll. And I gave her like two much more crisp newer ones that I didn't really want. So, and then this was the other Barbie. So she gave me the, uh, the Palm Beach Skipper. That was a fright to look at. Like she literally had her hair ponytailed on top of her hair. And there was like three ponytail holders stuck in it. Her bangs were like frizzy and everything and stuff like that. But I didn't care. I was like, that is the doll that I've wanted for so long. And then 
she traded me this one as well and I was like oh I want her because I've never seen her before so and she was on a body that I wasn't familiar with so but yeah And then the second one I got, I found her at the flea market. And she was wearing, like, a gingham dress. Like, it was, like, a red gingham dress. I always called it, like, picnic blanket style. Here, let me see if I can pop this open. I'm not going to be able to do it on camera. Okay, so I was able to pop this thing open. This thing is hard to get out usually but once that's done you can just this is older barbie boxes that's usually that thing you have to pop out and then you can easily just slide the doll out so this doll has never to my knowledge ever been out of the packaging let's see if there's any warranties none this time okay Usually dolls from back then came with a million different warranties and crap like that. But yeah, and I was also fascinated by her. Yeah, here we go. Because one of my favorite Barbies around that time was the um, 2005 My First Ballet Lesson Barbie. And I don't know, when I saw her face, she looked like a green-eyed, red lip variant of this doll. With the regular Generation Girl head. Of course, the screening is completely different. It's the classic screening that they used. Her screening is the classic screening. I believe, yeah, that they used the majority on a lot of Generation Girl head Barbies. But I don't know, for some reason she looked like this one, but with red lips and green eyes. But the screenings are completely different. So yeah, she has the classic screening with the sort of detail in her eyes. Like in her iris that looks like a, a gear or something. That's one thing about the 2000s screening I always noticed. Was it looked like a little gear that could turn. Or something and then you always had like the two white dots. And then all those lashes. There's usually like seven lashes on top and three or six on bottom or something like that. But yeah this is the screening I most remember with the um generation girl face but you can see this one's kind of similar but there's no like ring that goes around the iris that connects these little light beams or whatever and she only has one dot instead of two so yeah but i don't know she looked like a green eye red lip variant of this one to me when i was a kid so i don't know but yeah, <clears throat> let me feel her leg. Let's see if it's sticky. Nope, no stickiness. Good. Sometimes you get dolls that have been in box so long and they've been sticky. As you can see, this has discolored these zip tie things. I always found it satisfying to pull these off of the hair. I don't know. I always found it satisfying to pull those off. But yeah, there's the ornament. When the dolls used to come for something for you, like they would, like holiday item for you, or sometimes they would come with like lip balm or a tiara or a ring for you. That was always super fun to get stuff like that. But yeah, oh, she has a brush. Yep, her foot is all bent out of shape. And those are her shoes. I actually have those in like a pearly pink color. I think they came with my Rose Princess Barbie. Yeah. 
yeah, there's the dress. I guess I'll do a review of her later on to go more in depth about her. But yeah, that's her. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching. More videos to come. And remember to stay true to you.